if the camera wasn't on, I'd really be moving here. I'm moving on the inside. Hello, Lauren here. Back with some more Rage Against the Machine song two. I did Bomb Track, which you can watch up here if you want to. If not, that's okay. We're doing Wake Up today. It dominated the poll. It wasn't even close whatsoever. There is a possibility that I've heard the song. So if that is the case, I will do the second place winner. I do know some Rage Against the Machine songs. So yes, I am well aware of the awesomeness of this band. So it will not be any kind of shocking thing. So, uh, okay. Wake up. Is this, I'm trying to, this sounds like, so, I've either heard this song before or it sounds a lot like another song that I've heard. Does this sound like Cashmere, Led Zeppelin? That's the one. That's the one. All right, hang on. I have to do a little song comparison. Like maybe they sampled it or something. Just give me a sec here. It's like the same beat, but not the same. It's very similar. I just started this over. It's very similar. I'll play the intro of Cashmere right here, and if I have to take it out, I will do that afterwards. It sounds similar, right? I thought maybe they sampled it, but it, I mean, it's not the same. It just has a very similar beat. I'm thinking that's why it sounds familiar and not that I've heard the song, but it could be that I've heard the song, so. I'm done apologizing for pausing. I'm just over it. The beats, the the riffs, whatever you want to call them, of Rage Against the Machine songs are so infectious, like every single one. Like they just sort of fill your whole body. I mean, it's just like the whole sound of it just like takes over your body. That's probably a really weird thing to say, but maybe you know what I mean when I do my reactions, I don't move around very much. But if you're someone that really gets into music and like really moves, then there is no way that you cannot move doing this song, listening to this song. If the camera wasn't on, I'd really be moving here. I'm moving on the inside. But yeah, this, I mean, I expected it to be, to have that sort of, you know, infectious groove, really good lyrics. I'm not really going to get into the lyrics because that's just like a whole other video, I think, with their lyrics. But um, I do like what he's saying here. I always do. So let me put it back on. I'm going to get into it.
I did it again. It's just like, like the beat, the song is just so like funky and you just want to move, but yet the lyrics are talking about some like really serious issues. I mean, these aren't just like fun throwaway lyrics to put over a beat here. I mean, these guys have something to say. And I just love that they put such profound, powerful lyrics over these songs that are so catchy because it's like at first you get into the music just because of the sound of it. It sort of just draws you in. And then when you actually sit down and look at the lyrics, you're like, okay, there's more to this band than just sounding awesome. They have something to say here. So that's, that's really cool. I mean, I don't really want to make comparisons because that always upsets people. <laughs> But just, not so much the sound of it, but just another band that sort of does that would be System of a Down. They're sort of coming to mind. Where they sort of use their platform to to share their, you know, political opinions and views, you know. So the lyrics are a lot more than just, we're going to write a rock song. I'm sure there are other bands that do that too, but the that one's coming to mind. System of a Down. I'm just going to keep it where it is. There's Morello. Okay, then. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't have anything else to say at the end. Like, I could just say goodbye right now, but I'm going to listen to it again, and I'll be back. But just right now, it just fits in with all of their other songs that I've heard. Like, they're all just sort of, and not to take anything away from it or anything, but they all just sort of are great, you know? So this one just fits right in with the songs that I've heard. I have to say, before I listen to it again, I do, I like Bomb Track more than this one. 
the beat of that was even more infectious than this one. But I think this one, this one's a lot more powerful lyrically. I mean, they both are, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to listen to this again, and I will be right back. Hello, I'm back again. So, not much else to add here at the end, if anything, really. What I'm going to do is do Down Rodeo as the next song, since that was a popular one in the comments, even though it didn't win. I'm going to do that one next, but be thinking of some more titles for after that one. I'll be getting back to them at some point. So thank you so much for voting and watching and commenting. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you for another one.